Hello my friend, welcome back to math mode and happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today, we need to simplify this expression, we have square root of 220 minus 30 square root of 35. And of course we need to find a really good approach, how can we do this, because we can simplify its square root and it's real complicated with square root sign. And I'm going to show you a really good approach right now. First of all, let's rewrite this 30 as 2 times 3 times 5. We can do this because 3 times 5 equal to 15 and we can do this of course and this 35 let's rewrite as square root of 7 times square root of 5 so let's just keep in mind this right here we have 2 we have 3 times 5 and 7 times 5 so we have this expression right now and right now I'm going to group these elements take a look closely we have 2 times Right here I want to group 5 with square root of 7 because we have all, all multiplication, so we can do this. And this 3 and square root of 5, so this is equal to 2 times 5 square root of 7 and times 3 square root of 5. Yeah, so, I, so this answer is the same as 30 times square root of 35. This is absolutely the same. But right now I'm going to work with this with these elements. First of all, I want to raise this 5 square root of 7 I want to square it, so we have 5 square root of 7 to the second power. So what we'll have? 5 square times square root of 7 square. We have 25 times 7, which is equal to 175. So just keep in mind this answer, yeah? And let's do the same thing with this element, 3 square root of 5. Let's square it. 3 square root of 5 square equal to, we will have 3 square 9 times square root of 5 square which is equal to 45 so just keep in mind these answers but right now if we look closely to 175 and 45 if we add it right here if we add it we will have 220 which is really interesting because if we add it we will have right here 220 as in the beginning so moreover we can express this 220 as a sum of these squares so 5 square root of 7 squared and of course plus 3 square root of 5 squared. So this is the main maybe difficulties right here, just to see this tricky moment. So we just change this 220 by this expression and let's do this. We have a long square root. We have 5 square root of 7, we just change in this 220 squared we have plus 3 square root of 5 squared and what we have next? We have this expression minus 2 times 5 square root of 7 times 3 square root of 5 okay this is a long square root and every student asks me why I do this like that because we just do this thing more complicated we have square more square root sign we have squares but if you look closely to this we can see one really interesting moment. So for example, this is our a. So 5 square root of 7, this is our a. And right here we have a square. This for example is our b. This is b square. But right here we have minus 2 times a times b. And if you know a little bit about identities, a square minus 2ab and plus b square, this is our formula. a minus b squared. And moreover, if we have square root sign, we can easily write it in our parentheses 5 square root of 7 minus 3 square root of 5 squared. And why this is good for us? Because we have square and we have square root sign, we can easily cancel this. And if we cancel this, this is equal to, I write it right here on the top, so we have 5 square root of 7 minus 3 square root of 5, so 5 square root of 7 minus 3 square root of 5. But one really interesting moment right here, because we have, we just taking square root sign with the square right here, so we just need to put absolute value. And every student asks me why you put this absolute value, because like we cancel this and we have our answer, but I answer the next. If we have square root of a square, we need to put absolute value brackets in every time. And of course, a lot of answer doesn't need this absolute value, because of course, this answer is positive, but in our case, 5 square root of 7 minus 3 square root of 5. What about the sign? So we have 5 square root of 7 and we have 3 square root of 5. 
what about the sign right here? So 5 is greater than 3. So 5 is greater than 3, the first step. And 7 is greater than this one. So we have square root of 7 equal greater than square root of 5. Of course, then when this is greater left than right, and this right left greater than right, so the product is greater. And we can easily put the final plus behind this parentheses and we will have our answer 5 square root of 7 minus 3 square root of 5. This is our answer. Of course, if these elements will be right here and this right here, we need to put minus behind these absolute value brackets, yeah? But I want to show you why we need to put this absolute value. Of course, right here, this is positive. This bracket is positive, so we don't need minus, put minus right here. But in our case, it works. But every time you will find a negative bracket, so when you need to put minus right here. So we have 5 square root of 7 minus 3 square root of 5. This is our answer. Really interesting problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. And it helps me a lot to improve my content and it's really important for me. So if it's not hard to you, please support my channel. Thank you and see you in the next videos.